Hey, it's Ronnie Nijme here from PLR.me and from ProductCreatorPro.com. And I want to show you something really cool that we've developed, and that is turning your PLR into works of art. So on the left, you see some PLR that I put together. I put together uh, into a report. There's five articles in here. You see the bolding, the formatting, the lists. And on the right is, is some documents that I created. And take a look at this. I mean, take a look at the content. It's the same content. Fat burning furnace, fat burning furnace. It's the same stuff, but in a newsletter format. And check this out. You know, again, same idea, different design. And look at this here. And actually, we've created books. You can see cover pages and, and um, uh, inner pages here. Different styles of books. And also mini reports, the same content. You can see it's exactly the same content, but just formatted in different templates. Now, believe it or not, this was all done automatically. <laughs> really, it really was done automatically. And what I want to do right now is show you how this was done. This is using Product Creator Pro, and it's a publishing and marketing web app that you can use from wherever you are, Mac, PC, Linux, as long as you have an internet browser, you will be able to use Product Creator Pro. So I've gone ahead and you can choose book, newsletter, or reports. And I've gone ahead and selected a newsletter. Let me show you what happens next. So we have dozens of templates. And we're constantly adding new templates. And you can choose the template that you'd like to use. I'm going to choose this one for now. Just to save a bit of time, I've already pre-filled some fields. So the headline, the subheadline, the addition, uh, my profile information. Uh, this is actually auto saved, so it has my details that will be branded on every single report or newsletter or book. And you don't have to put everything in here. You can leave fields blank if you don't want to put your phone number or anything like that. It also automatically hyperlinks your Twitter and Facebook profiles. You upload your logo, your headshot, your image, and that's what's going to replace the images on this template. And for newsletters, we have a little section. Uh, in the front news uh, on the front cover that is replaced with with a message and article so I'm going to click next and we can choose an interior page layout you can see we've got some variety here for newsletters some with and without colors and with and with and without different footers one column or two column I'm going to leave it at two column I've already uploaded this doc uh, document okay so just to show you again this is what it looks like really no magic here just just simple plr.me content Click next and it's going to generate uh, an editing screen here so I can go ahead and edit this. Well, it's already edited for me in the, in the document, so I'm fine with that. Click next. And here we are. We're going to create a preview. So I'm not editing this video. You're seeing this all done in real time. And in about three minutes, we now have a complete newsletter done and ready to go. I'm going to click publish, download the PDF. You can also download a Kindle formatted version an HTML, uh, you know, uh, clean code version and a cover image. And let me show you what this looks like. Okay, so here it is. I'm just going to make it a bit smaller so you can see it on your screen. And here we go. In a matter of what? Three minutes? We went, not, not even three minutes, we created a brand new newsletter using PLR content. I mean, can you guys get your content to look like this? Let me just make it a tiny bit bigger for you. Can you get your content to look like this? Can you get your, your own content, let alone PLR content? I mean, it's just stunning, right? Okay, well now let me show you how easy it is to change this template. Let me go back and also let me download the Kindle version so you see what this is like and I'll open up my Kindle previewer. And it's just firing up. And while that's firing up, I'm going to go back to step one and show you what happens when I just change this from a newsletter to a book. I'm going to go click next. I can choose a different cover image here. So let's say this one here. Click next. And all the content is saved in here. My title, my subtitle, all the images, my bio, all, the, all of that stuff is done. And here we go. I can choose an interior page, different types of layouts with different headers and footers, one column or two column. I'll choose uh, this one here. Click Next. It's already saved the document that I've uploaded. We can edit it if we wish, but it's already done in, in the Word document format. Okay, and I'll show you the Kindle version in just a second here. And here we go. This is a preview of the exact same content now as a book. So I'll publish that and I'll open up the PDF. So here we go. This is uh, this is the content here. It's just opening up. Here we go. In what, a minute, folks? 
we created a brand new book. We went from a newsletter to a book and here is what it looks like. Okay, so what else? Well, now let me show you the Kindle version. Kindle, the Kindle Previewer opened up. Let me open this here. Okay, so hang on, let me do this. Okay, here we go. Kindle is opening up the preview. And here we go. Check this out. We have a perfectly formatted Kindle book with the bolding and the lists and all of the, the headlines and subheadlines, plus the cover page. Here we go. There's our newsletter that I created just a minute ago. And it's all done for us. Okay, so what about images? Well, well you know what? You can upload your images. Uh, you can create them within the documents. Actually, let me show you some examples. Hold on here. Let me let me show you some examples of of other books and, and things that we've created. What about full scale books? Can it handle 100 and 200 page books? Absolutely. Yeah, it can do it in real time too. Uh, here, let's let me here's some examples of some newsletters. Um, let me make this a tiny bit smaller so you can see. And this, this, you know, you can offer this as a service. You can see here, um, uh, this is, you know, this is my picture, but this very well could be your picture. Or if you're an offline consultant, it could be the business owner. Uh, you can put the business owner's uh, logo here, or your logo, or whoever's logo. Uh, you put your bio in there, your images that you'd like, and take a look at this. Hyperlinks are active in there. The logo for the company can be on every single page. You can have images within. Uh, the document as well. Let's see here. Um, you can have uh, you know two column, one column hyperlinks, and take a look at this. Hang on, let me just make this a bit smaller so you can see. Here we go. Look at that. I mean, this was done automatic, all automatically. This as well. Look at this. Same idea. All done automatically. And uh, let me show you a full scale book here. This is one of our clients' books. Now, uh, I, I uh, just put in some dummy text for the, the cover page, but take a look at this. Leo Forrest, Wealth Consciousness Guide, and look at, look at how long this book is with images. And we just scroll down, this was all automatically done, 106 pages, automatically using Product Creator Pro. Offer it as an offline service. Let's say you're targeting uh, doctors, and you, you can create a newsletter for them. You can create a little pre-selling book for them. Uh, you know, and uh, here, let's here's some other examples if you're going to target uh, doctors, uh, if you're going to target, you know, uh, naturopaths, if you're going to be, if you're a virtual assistant and you offer this as a service for others, you can use Product Creator Pro to save you a ton of time. Okay, so we're going to give you information about how to get to Product Creator Pro under this video. Click that link and you can get started. Uh, it is going to save you a ton of time. It's going to make your PLR, make your content look stunning. You'll be able to offer it as a service. And to be honest, where else can you create content that looks like this? Let me just remind you what we started off with. Okay, this is what we started off with here. On the left, you see that? Well, oh, there we go. On the left, you see that? This is what we started off with. And this is what we ended up with. Okay, so this is all done automatically. Really, it is and it's going to save you a ton of time using Product Creator Pro exclusively. You're not going to find this anywhere else. So I encourage you to give it a shot. Give it, uh, you know, and show us what you can do. We'd love to see what you can do with using PLR.me content, uh, using your own content. Show us your newsletters. Show us your books. Show us your reports. You know, here's an example of some reports, books, covers in the interior pages, one column or two column, all done automatically. So this is Ronnie Nijme again from PLR.me from Product Creator Pro. I wish you all the best with your design. I look forward to seeing what you can do. Remember folks, click that link under this video and get started with Product Creator Pro.